In this video, the source position, dwell position check with dummy source is being demonstrated. Normally when you plan, you will have several dwell positions as you see here and also the farther distance the source can move is different. You can see this is 1277 in the first few and 13 something for the last few. So please note that I will explain you later more about it. And we are going to, we are going to use the surface mold which is the fiber flap for the source position check. Normally we, I cut it to 10 by 10 and I have 10 sources, uh, source tubes connected to it as you can see here. The red ones have little longer length and the yellow, white ones have a little shorter length. You can, this is the difference that has been mentioned in the control panel when we, you know, programmed it. And now all the transfer tubes are being connected to it. And we need to make sure that they are properly connected. And the other end of the transfer tubes are connected to the right channel. That also you have to make sure on the HDR unit. So this is, uh, I used to jokingly call this as bubble mold. It is actually the surface mold provided by Nucleotron. This is a, each bubble in that the source can go and stay at the middle of it. And this is where you need to check whether it's properly locked. Now you can, in the control unit, you can choose dual position check with the dummy source. So you can be inside and actually see whether the dual positions, uh, dummy sources stop at the dual positions or not. So now we have started it and you can see the source has come and it is stopping. The first channel is done. It is now going, it has to now do for the second channel. Now it is going into the second channel. It is stopping at each point. Even this time you can change, right? How long it, you want it to stop. Now it's going to do for the third channel. You know, the uh, source goes back, the dummy source goes back and then comes up and now it is doing for the third channel. You can check for everything, right? This is one way of uh, checking whether the plan is being actually properly executed, right? I actually used to even mark it on this, uh, the plan, and may see whether the sources stay at exactly the same position after I do the, ex before I execute the plan. It is something like a patient-specific QA, plan-specific QA I used to do for the HDR 